How's everyone doing? I'm your Gibbs, and I have a very special video for you today. This is a channel update. I haven't done one in a long time, maybe a month or two. And really, it's time for me to kind of celebrate. We didn't really celebrate too much uh, with our recent milestones, but I thought, you know, what the hell? We're going to go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to go ahead and get this game started up in the background here, and yes, it's Veronica Gibbs. This game is called Din's Curse, and it is an action RPG. You might call it a, a Diablo clone, but uh, I actually just recently, in fact, as of today, I bought this game. It cost me $10 off of Steam. It has your normal action RPG tropes of inventory, character stuff, uh, loot, money, potions, quests, so I've got my quests that, well actually I have only have one left because I've actually cleared out this entire town, so we're going to go ahead and jump down to floor number 8, so you can see here there's actually 7 floors. And what makes this game special is that it has multiple classes, it has 8 classes, but they each have the ability to specialize. And not only that, the world is actually happening dynamically. Oh, look at that. I perfectly timed level up. So, uh, actually, I was down here minding my own business, doing what I thought was my own mission, and then some other NPC freaking did the mission for me. So, it was kind of a weird moment of WTF, but eventually I got around to the well. That's kind of cool. So, the other thing that's really neat in this game is creatures actually attack themselves. So it's kind of fun to kind of watch them get in black waves themselves. So this is what I've been kind of playing uh, lately. It is, in my own personal opinion, I have played a ton of Torchlight, a ton of Torchlight to Diablo or Diablo, whatever you want to call it. And for some reason, this game has been cooked. Indie game, small-time developer, but uh, these folks have been around. I was looking at their kind of history and. Uh, They've been around for a while, so they've been doing uh, things. So let's go ahead and sell this vendor while we're here. The vendor's actually helped me out here, that's kind of cool. So yeah, so this is kind of uh, Din's Curse. I'll leave a link for it. It's, I bought it off of Steam. You can get it off the of Gamer's Gate. It's $10 US. It's really... I think it's well worth it. There's actually already DLC released for it. Which is for $5. I didn't buy the DLC. Uh, I kind of just didn't really think I needed it right now. So anyways, that is that. That is Din's Curse. But that's not really what I'm here to talk about. We'll have it in the background and I'll see if I can multitask by uh, playing the game and talking. Uh, we're here to celebrate. Uh, the channel hit over 2,000 and I'm going to be using the word over a lot. It hit over 2,000 subs. And it hit over a million video views. Two major milestones which are kind of surprising and incredible. Wonderful all at the same time. It's all thanks to all you folks out there that have supported me for the last two years. Uh, really what that kind of boils down to, and I was just looking at some of the numbers before I uh, started doing the support button here, is that 1,700 videos? 1,700 videos? That's a, over 110 playlists. And usually what I do for each playlist is a game. So we're talking like, it's got to be over 100 games that I've recorded in the last two years. Uh, it also boils down to 17,000 comments. Now of course, if you guys are commenting, I'm replying back. So probably half of those are mine, and half of those are yours, <laughs> roughly speaking. So we're talking like 17,000 comments. 10,000 likes. Now, if I've only got 1,700 or 1,700 videos, but I've got 10,000 likes, you guys do the math. That's an awesome ratio, and I'm quite happy and pleased and surprised and blessed that this is all here. The hobby that uh, is meant to be an experiment is turned into a long-term hobby for me. It's, uh, I'm really enjoying myself. So. That's really kind of what we're going to do here. We're going to celebrate, and what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to flash up an uh, uh, image here. Let me just see if I can do something here that makes me realize what we've... Yeah, so we're going to basically flash up. We're going to show the Steam games. So I've got, I don't know, a dozen, something like a dozen Steam games. I'll flash up the image right here. And you guys are obviously going to have to watch to this point to know which games are going to be available. And what I'm going to ask you guys to do is just put in the comment down below 
Uh, the game that you want, obviously, is first come, first serve. And you have to be a, you have to have a Steam account, which is free. And you have to friend me on that Steam account so I can gift it to you. First come, first serve. Put a comment down below the game you you really would love and why you'd love it. Tell me why you want that game. What is it about that game that makes it so awesome? So go ahead and do that for me. Put that down in the comments down below. Which game do you want? Why is it so amazing? Why do you really, really want it? And uh, first come, first serve. I'll start dishing those games out immediately. Just to give you a bit of a flavor, some of the games that are going to... Well, you would have seen already on the video, but... You know, you've got kind of your Portal 2, your Legend of Grimrock, your PDA, your Amnesia, Left Dead 2. You basically, you got some classic gaming in there. And, uh, for those of you that don't have it, this is an opportunity to get yourself a free copy. And, uh, you know, that's okay. So, you know, a lot of these kind of giveaways, they have, like, criteria for you to be able to do to get it. So, I guess what I would like is, obviously, you know, this is kind of meant for my subscribers, my existing subscribers. So, you're going to have to be a subscriber to qualify for this stuff. And then the second thing is, uh, you're going to need to make sure you go onto Facebook and, and Twitter and make sure you follow and like me there, too. Uh, that's really for your own benefit because uh, I post all my videos uh, in both places, Twitter and Facebook, so that uh, so it'll have a lot easier for you guys to keep track of when I upload stuff. So, having said that, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. You're going to want to hit me up on Twitter, hit me up on Facebook, and uh, make sure that you're a subscriber because that's really what this is for. It's for all you lovely subscribers that have been with me thick and thin all along. And, uh, so yeah, so there you go. Let me know which game you'd like. Let me know why you'd love to have it. And uh, I'll, I'll hook you up. I'll definitely hook you up. I don't know if there's much, much else for me to do down here. I thought there was some big battle, but it doesn't look like there is one. Completed. Alright, let's go back up and we'll see if we can cash in this mission here. Yeah, Din's Curse. It has been my addiction. And it will continue to be my addiction. I'm probably going to buy this game. It's, uh, uh, action RPGs are uh, kind of my guilty pleasure. I, I'm a big loot, loot hound. I, I, any game that's got good loot. Just kind of the reason why I like Borderlands 1 and 2. <gasps> I love that. Oh, those vendors are fast there. Look at that. Oh, I should actually zoom in here a little bit. You can actually see that uh, my character is Veronica Gibbs. She's a lovely priest. Uh, which basically means she gets a sword and she gets healing powers. Her stats are kind of here. And I can't really show you all of them. But they're your typical fantasy trope. Uh, so we've got paladin skills, healer skills and shaman skills. I haven't really did much here at all, actually, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll leave a link for the Steam sort of location on this game. I encourage you guys to check it out. For $10, you can't go on. It really is uh, incredibly well done. Randomized dungeons, randomized loot, and even, like, I keep coming up with, like, new uh, creatures, beasts, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, let's see here. Show my bestiary. Where is that thing? There it is here. So you can kind of see here, like, here's what I've actually unlocked. And look at all these question marks here. So, yeah, there's a lot more to be said here and a lot more to be done. And I'm really looking forward to that. Let's pull up my map. And yeah, sure, the graphics aren't like the most fabulous thing in the whole wide world, but uh, I'm finding the gameplay incredible. Alright, so who do we have to talk to? We have to talk to this fella right here. No, this lady. This is kind of how the questing system works. It's all text-based, which is kind of the way Di Diablo and Torchlight is as well. And uh, we've completed the evil altar. Alright, we've saved the town, folks, so that's lovely. That means we get to go on to a new town. And you know what? I'll, I'll actually show you guys what that looks like once I collect my reward. Holy crap. Oh my god. I just had a loot orgasm. I don't even know if I can carry all this stuff. Excellent. Alright, I'll show you uh, one of the other kind of faucets of this game. Is the inventory is managed by these little bags. So you can kind of see I've got bags here. Uh, basically, uh, hang on a second. I've got three bags and they're different bags can carry different amounts. So this can carry six items, four and four. 
my only inventory, my main inventory, can only put carries. Uh, 16? Right, 16. So, this is how you have to manage your inventory with bags. And not only that, is even the uh, treasure chests here, they also have bags. So basically, everything's all managed by bags. Uh, different. When you start out, well, sorry, when you start out, you get no bags, so it's kind of tricky because you only have 16 slots to manage all your inventory, but uh, it doesn't take too long for you. Uh, I am a god, Din. The you serve no gods in your pathetic, despicable life. I have chosen to offer you redemption through service to me. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure what we need to do here. Doesn't look like we have any quests. You have saved this town. Click this icon to move to the next town in desperate need. Alright, let's go. Another town from the brink of annihilation. So congratulations, Veronica Gibbs. You've saved another town from the brink of annihilation. And you are now closer to redemption. You have saved Samir. Zero NPCs died. I failed. See, this is what I was saying. I actually failed quests because other people were doing them. Other, I guess, NPCs. Alright, and then this is kind of the way it works here. Uh, you can see here, I can actually, eventually, I'm going to be able to unlock level 100 monsters. And down here, I started off at zero, now it's bumping me up to a higher difficulty level. So my character level is eight. Normal would be to set the monsters to six. Easy would be set them to two, and hard would be ten. I'm just going to go with normal. Uh, I'm not really keen on, you know, having a heart attack over this. Pacing, so what I'd actually set to the uh, first town was this very fast pacing and you can see here at the very bottom it's saying 20% XP bonus and also starts with more quests. I just found it was action packed. I was just non-stop questing. It was wonderful. And of course the other extreme is if you go to slow it'll just take you a lot longer to progress but you're gonna get a lot more loot. So there is a bit of a balance to how you want to set up each world. Uh, having said that, I think we're good to go. We're going to go ahead and keep it on normal. And uh, we're ready to bump up the difficulty. And this is all randomized, folks. I got a brand new town, brand new NPCs, going to be brand new dungeon. And that's kind of the beauty of this. The only thing that's kind of consistent is this uh, dude over here, which I can talk to. I am the god Din. The you serve no gods in your pathetic, despicable life. I have chosen to offer you redemption through service to me. So we're going to go ahead and click some uh, qu quests here. Now, normally I would just go click, 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 and then I'd look at the location later. And we're going to go ahead and gather up some quests. My stash apparently followed with me. Yep, so there's my stash from before. And then, of course, all these folks have quests as well. Let's go ahead and bump all those in. There we go. Get the tailor. Get myself all loaded up with quests. And I just want to curiously see. I had one purple item in the last town that I got way at the end. So I'm kind of curious to see if there's any purple items in this new town. And uh, we'll see. The vendor, see. Trade. So this is all healing. Alright, we'll just go ahead and gather up all of these quests. Okay, so I've actually hit my limit for my number of quests. You can see here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six quests. And it tells me what floor they're on, which is basically level five, level six, five, two, etc., etc. And I can actually accept them and then decline them if I feel like I want to get a better uh, mission. We're going to zoom out here just to kind of take a peek around where we are here. This is the main town. I guess we're in Lizarin. Known world modifiers, warehouses, gargoyles, undead. Very fast pace. The other neat thing is this uh, game has the ability to reset the fog of war. Which I found actually extremely useful when I was going back through areas and trying to find them. Because so I was like, okay, I don't remember who this person is. i got to return to this. So all I did was I went into my mini-map, and I reset the fog of war, and bam! It's down to pitch dark again. I thought, wow, that is such a useful thing to do. Alright, so this is it, folks. This is all I really wanted to share with you guys today. This is uh, Din's Curse. It is a game that has been keeping me occupied very much so lately. I recommend you go ahead and buy it for $10. Don't forget, Steam Game Giveaway. Make sure you write down or 
comment on your favorite game that you want, and why you want it, why you think you deserve it, or why you think it's the best game ever. And uh, yeah. So until next time, I'm your Gibbs. Thank you all for your support. We'll see you next time.